So John Henry and I are out in the vegetable garden planting our first crop to go in the ground. Let me show you how we're doing that. So we are lucky enough to live in a place where we can grow Walla Walla onions. So that we are putting Walla Walla onion starts in. I always grow onions from starts. I don't like to grow them from sets. Um, those, t in my experience, don't result in good size onions. So we always grow onions from starts. And you can see he has a cook or a muffin tin there. And show them what you're doing with a muffin tin, dude. Oh, uh, so. You can make little uh, indents in the ground that show where you want to put the um, the onions. And you just go like that. And then what we're doing is we're kind of, I don't know if you can see on the camera, you can see the little hole oh. divots there. And we're doing like a checkerboard pattern of where we're placing them so that we can get uh, a good density, but they're not too crowded. All right, nice. Okay, so we've got that first um, section of this bed in onions, and we're gonna do radishes next. And the varieties that we're gonna do are um, Crimson Giant from Victory Seeds. These were packaged for 2017, so we're gonna sow those kind of heavy. Um, we have got some French breakfast from Botanical Interests. They are, were packaged for last year, so they should be fine. And some organic pink beauty radishes. I've never, these were given to me from a seed company I've never used called NK Lawn and, Lawn and Garden. Um, they were packaged for um, 2018, so we're gonna heavy sew those as well. Um, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So I think you can see there, right here that I've made three rows, three like furrows. Oops. And uh, at one for each variety of radish. Okay, there are the radishes planted and next we're going to do beets and we're we multi-sow beets which means we're going to put three in each hole and then they'll grow and the biggest one can be harvested and the other two left to grow and that way it prolongs the harvest and we're going to use the muffin tin again and uh but this time we'll be um sowing in in every hole
the radishes and the beets, the, um, the, and this is just our first sowing of them. We will definitely plant more um, as we get the rest of the garden ready. But so in this last section, that's this side of the, that bamboo pole that I've just put there. It's just there to, so you can, you can see it on camera. Um, John Henry, I'm gonna teach John Henry to plant a chaos garden for the first time. And this is something that I do every year and I love it. It's one of the most fun ways for me to grow greens. I've always had it be successful um, and it's a way to use up older seeds. So John Henry has the rest of the radish seeds plus um, some older seeds. So he's got, so people t give me seeds when they don't use them. So I've got some romaine and some igloo that somebody gave me. There's the leftover beets from what we just planted. That is arugula, more beets, more beets. None of those have very many in them. And uh, romaine. I think that's where we started, right? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna, now we, I have a little container behind you, pick it up. And it's got a little bit of potting soil in it. And this happens to be cactus potting soil or succulent potting soil. And I chose that because it's a little bit lighter. It's also dry and that's important. You can do this with sand too, but it does need to be dry or at least not terribly wet. And I want you to go ahead and dump all those seeds in there. Ew. Fun, right? There's a reason it's called a chaos garden. This is like not something you ever get to do. So he's gonna attempt how many packets of seeds? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. It's a lot, this is a, a lot of seeds, it, but we, with the expectation that they're gonna have pretty poor germination. Six. And Six. some of them were only, not all, were, all the Oh yeah, all. and some of them were mostly empty. Okay, now, so that's what it looks like with all of those seeds in there. Now go ahead and mix it up with that potting soil. And the reason that that little bit of, there was like, what did you say, John, about like a half a cup of potting soil in there? Maybe yeah. a little bit more than Maybe that. More. Okay. And it, that just makes it easier to spread them. You don't have to do that, but it just gives you a little bit more volume to, um, to plant it. And now you're just gonna sprinkle it evenly over the area that we want to plant. That's how you plant a chaos garden. That's why it's called a chaos garden. You don't have to do anything else. It's gonna rain here in the next couple of days, so I'm not even gonna um, wet it down. There are so many seeds there. I don't really have a problem with the birds eating too many of them. Um, well, we might wet it down a little bit. Well, I'll check the forecast. If it's gonna rain tomorrow, then I won't. Um, what do you think, John Harry? Is that a fun way to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty fun, right? It's a fun way to grow greens. It's a fun way to use up your excess seeds. And I've done it every year for many, many years. Um, it's never failed. I always grow a ton of lettuce. Um, I don't always get everything that I plant. One year I did cilantro in there with it, but I really like cilantro and none of the cilantro came up. Um, I think it just got out competed. So now I plant my cilantro separate. Um, we did put the radishes in there. Um, I've done beets in there. Uh, uh, the beets I get kind of get out crowded too. That's why I do them separate. But any green will go in there. Um, I don't find that spinach does well in it, that it needs to be planted separately too. But it, basically any lettuce seeds that I get given or that I have left over, that's how I plant. And there is our first bed of the gardening season planted. So it's later on in the evening and I just am out here taking a few minutes of quiet and um, admiring the work we got done. And it's just one bed, but, um, oh, and my puppies are out here. There's, there's Ike, oh, you good boy. And Rivers, Rivers here too. Oh, okay. Um, I just wanted to comment on my sons 
and how grateful I am. I grew my first garden in the Pacific Northwest when I was pregnant with John Henry. Uh, that was 14 years ago in the um, in a pea patch, in the pea patch system in Seattle, which is what they call their community gardens. So um, if any of you, I know are, if any of you are from Seattle, it was the one on Meridian Way in Seattle. And um, that was my, that was my very first garden. I only gardened there for one year. And after that, we moved into gardening with some friends on their uh, property. But I, uh, that, yeah, that was my first garden. I also wanted to show you a picture of my boys in the first garden that we had in a community garden here in Oregon. So I'm gonna throw that in right here. It's one of my favorite pictures. I, every time it comes up in my memories or on my phone, it makes me so happy. Also, I wanted to say my younger son, Leo, is also helpful in the garden. He's also younger and um, they look, he sometimes looks old, uh, but he's my younger son and he still needs a lot of playtime and he's not quite at the maturity level. John Henry is really very helpful and, um, and enjoys the process, but that hasn't always been true. And I've never required much of my children in the garden. I've just always taken them with me. They've always been with me as I've gardened. When they were young, our community garden had a little, like a little play area and they ran through the common areas and I taught them to be respectful and to stay on the paths and to stay out of other people's gardens. And I've lost onions and I've lost squash plants. They've, and it was worth every sacrificed plant to have my children with me. Um, and everything that ever took longer to get done because I had my kids with me. Now at the ages of 12 and 14, it's so worth it. And I'm so grateful for my younger self for not, one, not giving up on the garden because it was hard with young kids, but also um, to, not doing it without them. Not, uh, and do I garden without them? Yes, because I needed peas, <laughs> but I took them a lot a lot uh, particularly when we gardened away from our home it would have been easy for me to not take them but um i did take them a lot and they've been around they've had a garden their whole life so they've never known anything different and um maybe they'll grow up to garden and maybe they won't i thought oh i'm gonna grow up to be a city girl <laughs> and I don't want anything to do with this, this growing of my own food. Um, it's not for me. I'll just go to the grocery store. Thank you very much. And that's how I was when I first left home. I didn't want to have anything to do with producing my own food. And uh, by the time I was 30, I was ready to come back to it. I was ready to come back to growing. I, I, you know, we started really small. I started with um, growing cucumbers and tomatoes and a, and a couple of herbs and that's it and now and you know it gets bigger every year, every year it gets bigger um until I'm growing you know 1800 pounds of food so um just like a, a note of encouragement if you have young children garden with them even if they leave it even if they do leave it it's so grounding and good for for kids to know where their food comes from and to participate in providing it and that's, yeah, that's just all I wanted to say. Thanks for joining us as we get our first, um, our first seeds and our first plants in the ground for the year. Um, well, we did do potatoes. Did I show that? I showed it on Instagram. Let me show you real quick. Um, Lincoln and my husband, Lincoln and John Henry actually got this done. We have our first potatoes in as well. And, um, we are focusing on growing more potatoes this year so this is just the first um the first round of potatoes there's actually going to probably be at least one more patch of potatoes but so yeah the rest of the garden still has her blanket of cardboard but um and there's lots of weeds and there's always so much to do and particularly when i'm not at my strongest i am very grateful for my children who are usually willing to help me. Um, they need some incentives, they are kids, but I don't mind incentivizing them for working in the garden. So thanks for joining us. I'll talk to you next time, bye.